Well, without getting technical, associating with the aromas, I'm really getting a tropical nose in this one. Delicious. Banana, papaya, maybe mango. I don't know. It's not quite. Getting any peach? Are you getting any peach? Hmm? Peach? Well, yeah, peach. Peach is North America's mango, right? Oh, <laughs> that's correct, right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think of that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is more mango than peach yeah. to me because it has a little bit of a turpiny uh, twist to it. Lovely, another lovely yeah. coffee. More high toned, not as deep and resonant as uh, the neighbor's coffee. If you just started paying attention to the show, Neighbors Coffee is not the person next door, but it's a coffee company that we just tasted a wonderful uh, this Burundi. Is, <laughs> this is delightful, but in a different, very different way. I think it's similar. Do you? Uh, in really? In some ways. Tell I, me. It has a kind of a, a deeper toned fruit, uh, like the first one, not yeah. the Neighbors Coffee. Yeah. The acidity is higher toned, I think, and brighter but they're both sweet and they both have that sort of central African um, resonance yeah. and roundness, a sort of a characteristic that embraces all of the aromatic notes, but it is higher toned. I don't want to identify one fruit, but there's banana in there for me somewhere <laughs> that's uh, sort of knitting together the uh, the other uh, higher toned, I see more distinctive fruit notes. I think I am getting that now that it was very hot initially. A tremendous sweetness, right mm. deep in the middle. Of really, the, yeah. Of the profile. Yeah, it's. Well, let's see. Fruity. How it tastes. Well, here I'm getting something distinctly winey, wine-like. In the in the mouth, in the, on the palate. As usual, the uh, aromatic fireworks sort of diminish a little when you drink a, a coffee when it's hot. But they're there, and they're going to become more uh, explicit as it cools. I think ultimately it's a bit simpler. The aromatics are a bit simpler than the neighbor's yeah. coffee, the number one sample. But it's, it's very pleasing and I think also very characteristic of Central Africa and Burundi. A kind of a semi-sweet wine character is quite prominent. Mm -hmm. Even more so than in the other one. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely, <laughs> really? much more so. It, though it's bright, there's, there was no astringency. No in the acidity or or very little so little that i don't i didn't read it as astringent mm -hmm. or react to it as a, so it's a it's a very bright but cleanly bright coffee are we ready to uh reveal this let's baby? let's do it this is a oh uh, by the way i'm assuming that this is another washed Burundi washed process. It could be a honey. It could be a honey process. I'm pretty sure this is a washed coffee. Medium dark roast. That really surprises me. I don't find a dark roast taste at all in it. Do you? I did, did not. No. Is this the roaster that woman who walked 30 miles with yes. the coffee cherry on her head? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Burundi star coffee. Where are they She's located? in Maine. She's in Portland, Maine. Oh, <laughs> what one extreme to the other? I know. I from <laughs> Burundi to to Maine. Yeah. Wow. And what a story she must oh, have. Oh yeah. Huh? I I just a very charming. Jocelyn is the the okay. owner. Burundi. Bur Burundi Nakaka. star. What is her name? Uh, Jocelyn. The, Jocelyn Kamikaze, K-A-M-I-K-A-Z-I, mm -hmm. -I. and uh, she's the daughter of a farmer, coffee farmer. And is it called Gozi Province? Yeah, of, it's in the in north. The north, uh, okay. North, yeah, north. Uh, I mean, it's a small country, but it's <laughs> well, in the, it's still a north. north uh, yeah. <laughs> Big enough to have not as far, not as far north as Maine. No. But, uh, <laughs> That's north. probably why she moved to Maine. <laughs> it's in the, it's, it's in the, yeah the northwestern 
corner of uh, Burundi. Yeah, she said, I joined my family business at 15 and performed various tasks, including cherry picking, weighing the day's harvest, and keeping records. I enjoyed the 30-mile walk carrying coffee on my head to the wash station to be sold the same day, lest they go bad and lose their value. We sometimes had to wait as long as two days in line at the wash station. After this, once the beans were washed, processed, and sold, they would not receive any payments for three months. Again, she said, this is not my family's coffee. It's uh, one that's nearby. Uh, and it is a traditional Burundi washed process. Uh, it it right? does appear to be. She does not mention that, and she didn't. She, other than telling me the story of washing, and I thought I had it, but that's not. And then when she told me later, this is not my my coffee. I assume no, it's the I'm way pretty it's sure. Same. I'm yeah. pretty sure. So somebody who wants to explore Burundi coffee says two really <laughs> fine ones here. These are two characteristic Burundi coffees, two characteristic Central African coffees. They're quite different, but they're different within the potential beauty of of this of these origins of this style of coffee wonderful please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this